Hello. Hello, I am Nitesh Pradhan from Labby Programming. It is our fourth video in the series of signal processing using LabVIEW. Our topic is signal sampling. Okay. So let's start signal sampling. Now open your lab view, come into the block diagram, signal processing, take a waveform generation, come here, come under the waveform generation, take sine waveform, right click, create control and right click, create another control. Okay. Now, right click, come into the open the label these are the frequency and amplitude right click come here and take this waveform graph now give the frequency 5 and run the program Okay, so it is our normal signal. Now I want to perform the sample. So, okay. So it is sampling. Okay. Sampling frequency. You can say okay now right click come into the block diagram take a for loop place here right click come into the waveform graph take this get waveform component and place here Open the label get waveform component. Connect this get waveform component and take the data inside. After that, this is our sampling frequency. It's our I. Okay. You can say it is uh, del f. Okay. We can write is it df. Okay. Df. It is the best way to. Now connect this df. After that, come here. Take this constant and remainders. Divide. It will generate value from 0 to size of the uh, okay it will this uh, this for loop will run as per the size of this array size of array means the number of sample which this uh, sine wave has contained this for loop will run at that time so by default this for loop has thousands so by default this for loop has thousand data sample thousand data sample okay when you will click and create constant so you will know that's information so this one okay this one is the thousand data sample so this loop will run thousand time uh, so this will generate value 0 to 5 sorry 0 to thousand it will divide by using these functions it will divide and it will give remainder and constants so here one functions that is present okay now it's equal to zero function after that we will take one select function here when it will be zero means when the del f when the del f 
Okay, here I am putting del f10. Okay, so that is our sampling frequency. And del f is our sampling frequency. Now another one give the zero. Now right click, take it outside, right click, take away from graph, no need to take, just copy this one, duplicate, right click, come here, in the waveform, take build waveform functions, place, connect with the reference, reference, connect with the reference and connect here okay now run now you can see if i will write if my frequency is 1 so this is sine waveform if i will change the del f okay if i will change the del f means i will change the that's mm, uh, frequency interval so it will cut my frequency it will cut my sine waveform as per the frequency if i will cut it 30 okay if it is 40 if it is 50 Frequency is one. There is thousand sample. Okay, it is, it is thousand sample. Right. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten, twenty. Okay. 1000 divided by 2 sampling number okay so in this way we can sample our signal so what is the difference between this so difference between this there is 50 numbers you can say del t okay so if you want to know about this sampling concept so in the previous well uh, in the upcoming video i will show you how can you plot and how can you uh, learn more about this sampling concepts so here i will take one build array functions i will increase this build array functions then i will connect the value like this build array and i will connect with so blue one so blue signal will show the blue signal will show our input value and the red signal will show our sample value okay so blue signal will show our input value you can say blue one is the our analog signal analog signal and it will be the sample signal sample signal now run so thank you for watching this video